today I'm hoping to make this a series but I'm going to film myself putting on makeup I'm not going to actually do an in-depth tutorial I'm just going to kind of be putting it on and um, showing you the steps and while I'm doing that <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys one of the most ridiculous ridiculous stories ever so grab some wine mine is full to the rim and um hold on grab some wine i was drinking another one before and then i poured that one and i don't know if i like it anyway grab yourself some wine grab yourself a drink buckle in we're gonna do makeup i already did my brows this one came out so fire today. This one, eh. I'm about to tell you one of the most ridiculous stories ever. So if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok or even Facebook, I shared about a month or maybe two months ago, um, a ridiculous story about when me and Ruben tried to sell our red couches. So if you didn't see that TikTok, I'm going to go in depth, tell you exactly what's going on. I'm going to do a purple look today. So I'm going to use my color, color pop, my, one of my favorite palettes. It's I like lilac you a lot by color pop. If you are not getting color pops palettes, then you are sleeping on the color pop brand because they are affordable. They are cruelty free. They're based out of California. You need this palette and so many of their other ones in your life. I just ordered the sailor moon one. I'm so excited to get that one. So um, <laughs> just gonna go ahead and get into this here. So in 2008, I moved out of my mom and dad's house and I moved in with a roommate. And as you can imagine, roommate scenarios are never the best, right? But she was a nice girl and we were just really young. We were like 19 years old. And so you know how girls are we didn't see eye to eye on a couple things after I found out that I was actually pregnant with Catherine. And we kind of just stopped talking while we were roommates. <laughs> we stopped talking and um, we lived an awkward six months together until our lease ran out. So long story condensed, um, before that happened, we had been working on furnishing our apartment together. So do y'all remember FAMSA? If you are from here in San Antonio, there's, I think it's still open, I don't know, but on 410, kind of by Ingram Park Mall, there's this store, this furniture store called FAMSA, and they're kind of like one of those, like, no credit needed stores, you know, like, they'll help, help a girl out, so I was like 19, so, you know, I had to go there, so me and my roommate at that time went there, and we picked out the couches, well, truthfully, she picked them out, and I was kind of just like, okay, like, I didn't love them, they were red. Red is not my favorite color by any means. So she picked them out and that's what we ended up with. We went half, she was paying half of the um, financing or whatever it was at that time. I was paying half and we were just kind of going from there. And then we bought a table together, et cetera, et cetera. So when that relationship went south and we ended up moving, you know, we ended up parting ways I ended up keeping the couches because they were in my name and she ended up keeping the tables or whatever. And you know, we went our separate ways, no hard feelings. We've never spoke since then, but girl, if you're watching this, I have nothing but love for you. I have nothing bad to say about you. We were 19. I hope you add me and we can actually hang out again someday because I have nothing bad to say about her. But anyway, <laughs> off track again, sidetracked. So, um, so I ended up with those couches and, you know, Ruben and I ended up uh, moving in together after Vanessa and I, after my roommate and I, I don't want to say her name, after my roommate and I um, lived together. And so I hated those couches, like hated them. I hated them. They were bright red. They were just not my vibe. I hated, hated, hated them. So we ended up sticking it out for about two or three years, maybe actually even three or four years. I'm thinking more three or four years because where the story starts getting involved was about 2012, I'm thinking. So we ended up keeping those um, for a good while. We got a good use out of them. You know, I had little Ruben in 2010. I had Catherine, so two toddlers had those sofas and 
whatever, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to post pictures of them right here. So you can see they're not the worst, they're not the best, but whatever, right? So we ended up moving into a nice new apartment and I decided I wanted a sectional and I wanted to do some nice brown ones because I love brown. I just wanted a neutral tone after doing red, you know? So we went ahead and we put them on. Sip some wine for this. Craigslist. Yes, we put them on Craigslist. And remember this was back in 2012, um, you know, before all those other apps and stuff came out. But anyway, we put them on Craigslist and um, we had them in the, our storage unit. So they were in our storage unit. We had just moved into a really nice new apartment and um, Ruben at that time because we had two toddlers, remember? So, well, they weren't toddlers. They were about three and four. And Luke wasn't born yet, obviously. So at that time, um, Ruben had put them on Craigslist and he got an offer. So he went to go meet somebody. So he goes and meets her at the storage unit, which is like, I want to say like five to 10 minutes from our house, from our apartment at that time. So he goes to meet her at the storage unit. And this is where my story starts getting good. He goes to meet her at the storage unit. And she um, is like, hey, can I see the couches? I want to actually physically look at them, kind of look over damages. And, you know, they're used couches, so they did have some wear and tear. I had two toddlers, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, but she looked at them. She actually had Ruben flip them upside down. She looked at the bottoms to, like, make sure they weren't, like, cut open or frayed or anything, which, you know, if you're buying something used, you want to make sure that if you're going to pay money for them. I don't remember how much we sold them for, by the way or listed them for, it was so long ago. But you know, you wanna make sure that you're getting a good product. Even though you're buying it used, you still want a good product. So Ruben gladly did that for her. He flipped them and he went ahead and showed her. And she said to him, I want them, I want them. I like them, I'm gonna go to my bank, I'm gonna get the money out and I'll meet you here in an hour. And Ruben said, cool. So he took off from the storage unit because he's not gonna wait there for an hour came back to the house and she's calling saying I'm here at the storage unit so he's like all right I'll be right back I'm gonna go meet this lady sell these couches and be done with it and I was like cool so he goes nothing not expecting anything and then he's texting me do you have receipts for these couches and I'm like no I bought them a from FAMSA four years ago too like who the hell keeps couch receipts like no of course I don't have a receipt to them and so he's like, well, you need to come down here right now. And I was like, what's going on? Like, why would I need to come down there right now? And he's like, you need to come down there right now. I'm using this palette, by the way, and I'm going in with the purple right here and with this lighter pink to kind of do a base right there. But anyway, he's like, you need to come down here right now. And he's like, the police are here. This lady is saying that we stole her couches that these are her couches and that we are selling them and trying to we stole them or whatever the case is whatever she's telling the cops the cops are here there's multiple cops you need to get down here right now and i was like what do you mean we didn't steal them and he was like i know that lisa but the cops don't know that and this lady is saying that they are stolen so you need to get down here and at that point i think i was probably on the phone with him not through text so he's like panicking he's like thinking he's gonna get arrested because the cops are believing her over him and he's just like what is going on here like i thought this was just gonna be a smooth transaction like what the hell so i'm thinking like i don't have a receipt to these sofas like i don't have anything that can prove these are ours like i was like whatever so i throw the two toddlers in the car buckle them up go over there because it's like again five to ten minutes so it's not a huge deal so i go over there and park and by the time i'm parked and sitting there waiting and looking at ruben the lady and her mom are over there in her her car and they're just like kind of sitting there looking at us and the cop is like telling me hey so are you the owner? And I was like, yeah, these are mine. You know, he's selling them for me. This is at the time, you know, this is 
like I don't even know what I was saying it was you know however many years ago I don't even know what I exactly said but I was like these are ours I would never steal couches like who the hell steals couches nobody in this world steals couches like how do you even go about stealing a couch like really so anyway so I tell him the only thing I can think to prove to you that these are in fact ours is to show you pictures you can see that my children are like three and four now and i can show you pictures of when they were babies and i've had these sofas since my daughter was a newborn like that's the only thing i can think and he's like yeah that'll work so i'm like furiously pulling up facebook and remember this is in 2012 so like i don't even think i had an iphone back then i don't even know what i was working with back then but it, you know it was like not the best i um the best connection or whatever and I'm like panicking because I'm thinking like he's believing her like he's not even he's wanting to see proof he's not really even believing us he's believing her like he is thinking that she is telling the truth that we stole her couches and I'm like I'm are we about to get arrested like so many things are going through my head so um I'm like furiously pulling it up on my phone I finally find pictures of Catherine which I'm posting right now. And Ruben, <laughs> look how cute. And um, yeah, like those are the only pictures I can find. Super low quality, like look at this. It was 2012 and you can tell by the picture quality. Like that was all that I had and luckily that was enough like the cop was just like okay you know I don't know what's going on here but clearly these are hers like she has pictures those are her kids I can see her kids in the back seat like clearly they have aged like these are hers and so I don't even know because at that point he had separated Reuben and her and me like because I was pissed because I I am not a confrontational person whatsoever like People can say the craziest things to me and I'm just kind of like, okay, okay, whatever. Like, I don't really fight back. I don't tell people things. Like, I am not a pushover, but I just don't like confrontation. But if you piss me off, if I get to that point, I will say something. But that it, it takes a lot. It takes a lot. But that really pissed me off. I was like, first of all, I hate these couches. Second of all, all I was trying to do was sell them. And third, like, why in the hell are you trying to say that we stole your couches so you can get some free couches? Like, you're that desperate for some free couches? Like, what? I don't even see any other situation where she could have been, like, thinking that they were hers. Because how the hell? How the hell? do couches get stolen from you? It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Unless you're like completely robbed. It doesn't happen. So anyway, the cops ended up telling us we could go, whatever, fine. So I, again, fuming, freaking furious. So Ruben has her number, right? So, I waited a little while. I'm like processing, talking it over with Ruben once we get home. And I was like, you know what? And this isn't me. If you know me really well, you know that I do not do confrontational stuff like this. Like that's not me, that's not who I am. But I called her number and she didn't answer of course. And I was calling her for my number and she still didn't answer. And I wasn't even calling private. I was like so mad. I wasn't calling private or anything. I was just calling her. Wouldn't answer her phone um, at all. She wouldn't answer at all. So she finally ends up, um, like it, it was just being declined. Like she was declining my call. And so finally, I kept calling, kept calling like a psycho because I was pissed. I, I know that like, I probably could have handled that better, but keep in mind, I was probably like 22 at this time or however old I was in 2012, 23, 24, I was still pretty young. So, um, and that could also be why she did that because she saw how young Ruben looked because Ruben looks young as hell still. But, um, you know, and she was like, oh, I'm going to take advantage or whatever. Like to this day, we still don't know why she did that. What was she, what was she trying to accomplish? I don't know. Get some free couches, I guess. But um, my point is, is like I kept calling her. She didn't answer. So I left her 
a crazy voicemail. I was so mad. I was like, how dare you accuse us of stealing couches? Those are my couches. I worked so hard for those. You know, I had finally paid those off like after a whole, like I think it took me like two years to pay those off. Cause remember I was super young when this happened. Um, it took me a while to pay those off. And like, I was just furious. Like I was so furious that they put Ruben in that position, made him feel like he was some kind of criminal, you know, and he's just trying to sell the couches and like, it just really made me mad. So I called her, she didn't answer of course, and that was that. So then keep in mind, we had just moved into a new apartment. So keep that in mind. We had just moved into a new apartment. So our new couches hadn't even come yet. They were ordered, but they were, you know, not, we hadn't got them yet. They hadn't been delivered. So we decided with the kids that night and we, um, I feel like based off of what I'm about to share, we probably didn't have most of our furniture yet because we decided to just sleep with the kids in the living room on the floor. Like we put blankets out that night and we slept with the kids in the living room on the floor. And, um, you know, keep in mind, this is like our third night in the apartment. So all of a sudden, all of a sudden, we hear this banging, like furious banging on our door, on our, um, on our front door. And I'm sorry, I'm covering my face. Um, like a knock like that. And we're like, and it's like late at night. And so me and Ruben are a little scared. You know, because like what just happened with the whole cop situation and everything. And so we're both just kind of sitting there thinking like, what should we do? Like, obviously we weren't going to answer it, but like, what should we do? So I'm trying to quiet little Ruben down because oh, if you knew me back in 2012, little Ruben used to cry his ass off all the time for no reason. Just crying, just crying all the time, nonstop. Like why I still had another child after little Ruben is beyond me because, and Luke wasn't like this, but little Ruben used to cry all the time to the point where we lived in like several different apartments from the time when he was little to the point where the neighbors would call the cops because they thought I was abusing that child because he would cry all the time. So I was kind of scared. I was trying to get Ruben to not cry, to not freak out. It was late at night. It had to have been after midnight for sure. Like, you know, when you move, it's just a really long day. You have long days ahead of you trying to get settled and stuff. And so it was just a nightmare that night. So we ended up not answering and me and Ruben were just petrified. And honestly, that is just the craziness that happened. And we never found out like, if she was just really thinking those were hers, which I highly doubt, or if she, I don't know, if she was trying, my, my thing is, is that she was trying, she sent Ruben over there, let me first, and when she first met him, to go look at the couches and get a good idea of what they look like, so that when she called the cops, she could be like, well, at the bottom, it has this mark and blah, blah, blah. So that when the cop came, she could be like, how would I know that if they weren't my couches? Because what I forgot to mention too is that when Ruben first got there, they made him get out of the vehicle. Like it was super dramatic. They made him get out of the vehicle and they were like, get out of the vehicle, sir, and blah, blah, blah. Like why they believed her? Like right off the bat, I still do not understand to this day but they made Ruben get out of the vehicle and then they made him take they were like let's go upstairs and let's go look at the couches because she had already told this story about where the markings were so when they went upstairs and they checked because that's what they were trying to confirm that's how they were like I mean she knows where the markings are because she didn't tell them that she met Ruben ahead of time she's not gonna say that of course you know and so at that point, when Ruben tells them that, it's his word against hers. So she played that out pretty good. That's why I'm almost 100,000% positive that she was in the market of just stealing from people. But you know what? That's Craigslist. We all know Craigslist is a cesspool of people and where people just go to be low lifes and disgusting. So, I mean, it was 2012, live and learn. We were young. But that was a scary, crazy situation that like literally nobody believes. They're like, what? 
But yeah, that happened just so ridiculous. And me and Ruben still to this day, like just kind of laugh about that. We're like, what was wrong with her? Like, who does that? Like really, who does that? Who, who does that? So we did end up selling the couches. Long story short, we did end up selling them. And I was super hesitant. Like we kept them on Craigslist and I was super hesitant, but me and Ruben went together the next time and we sold them to this really cute young couple. And I believe that she was either pregnant or she had just had a baby. So it was kind of like a full circle moment when we sold it to that couple because that was how I ended up getting those couches when I was pregnant with Catherine. And it's kind of cute. Um, she was really like, I love red. I'm obsessed with these couches because obviously we sold them for way under what I bought them for, you know, when you sell things on, sell things on Craigslist, you sell them for less, but, um, it ended up being, you know, just kind of cute. Like she was really appreciative and she really liked them. And I believe she either had just had a baby or she had a baby on the way. So I was like, oh, like it ended up going to a really nice person, you know, but um yeah that's my crazy couch story and a big shout out to emily for giving me this idea um because i definitely think that that's a funny funny thing um i have so many stories crazy stories when ruben and i were younger and even even now we get ourselves into some very weird situations um we really do we have so many random stories of nonsense that has happened to us over the years and so I'm definitely ready to share that on TikTok. That was my first TikTok video that went semi-viral. For me, it went viral. It had like 22,000 views about the couches because people were just so shocked that somebody would do that. But people are crazy, y'all. People are crazy. And if they can get something for free, they will. And I think too, like she kind of assessed the situation and she was like, this is a young guy. Like he's probably, they're probably gonna, a young Hispanic guy, not to bring race into it, but I mean, honestly, it's just true. A young Hispanic guy, like they're probably gonna believe me over him. And you know, it's unfortunate, but that's the world we live in. And hopefully we're all changing that for the better right now with everything going on. But, um, you know, I definitely didn't want to bring that into the situation, but I think that's important that to note that we were really young when that took place so you know people kind of tend to know who they can take advantage of or who they think they can take advantage of because it wasn't me honey but um <laughs> but uh it was a funny situation it's something we can laugh now and look back on but I have some really funny situations do you guys see that scar it's very faint and excuse all the makeup so I have this huge scar right here and oh I'm saving that one for y'all because that is going to be a story that I have to tell y'all and I've never honestly really told the true story of how that really happened because it's so ridiculous I kind of always tell an altered version because to be honest with you it does not paint me in the best light <laughs> uh mother wise <laughs> But again, I was like 22 when this happened or even younger. You guys know I was a really young mom. Um, and most of my funny stories are from what before Luke was born. <laughs> but we do have some after Luke was born also because me and Ruben be getting into some bullshit together. Enjoyed me running my mouth, telling you about nonsense that's happened to us. I finally got some new eyelash glue after pushing this one to the absolute limits. So I did this cute purple look. I wanted to kind of talk about the makeup really quick because um, I know that's why a lot of you are here. No. So no. just going to apply. Ooh, and here come my kids, y'all. No. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come yelling. There they are. Um, but anyway, so I just kind of wanted to show you the final look. So this goes, it went pretty quick as you can see, like a 20, 30 minute look. Um, nothing too crazy, but it looks really pretty with this pop of purple that I'm wearing, this pretty purple shirt. The shirt is from Sheen. This is from Dollar Tree, this headband. The earrings are from Sheen. Little cuff is from Sheen. If you are not using Sheen, you are sleeping on those deals that they have because they have cute stuff. Now you do have to read the reviews 
and I don't recommend ordering anything until you read, 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 and reread all of the reviews because I have ordered a few things on there and they haven't been cute. They have been a hot mess. Um, but for the most part, everything I order on there comes in on point. It's super cute, super affordable. I know it's from China and I know like there's a lot of um, bureaucracy with that, right? And there's a lot of like people who are like, why are you supporting that and blah, blah, blah. Because girl, I like a good deal. <laughs> That's why. And I don't know. It's a good site. It has good stuff. I wouldn't buy their makeup from there because I don't trust that stuff. But also, um, I didn't use this today in this video, but I'm going to use this here in a video probably next week. And this is the new e.l.f. Camo Concealer Sponge that um, one of my favorite YouTubers, I Love Sarai, uses. And she recommended this, so I can't wait to try this. I didn't use it in this video because I didn't want to use a new product that I haven't used before. I kind of wanted to just do a quick look. So really, this is it. I'm going to apply some blush. Now, I did mention in my video about the blush, so that's what I'm going to get into now. So I bought this Milani one, and this is in Luminoso. I bought this Wet n Wild one. This is in Pearl, Pearlescent Pink. Another Milani one, Rose Powder Blush, and this is Romantic Rose. And then I did buy this one as well, and this was the Halo Hello Halo combo, and it's got the highlighter and the blush. And this is in um, Flash Flash Me, Flash Me. So. What's the best out of all of them? Honestly, they're all good. Milani is a little more expensive. This one was about $5. This one was about seven or eight. This one was $4, but super pretty. And it comes with the highlighter too. This one was $2 and I'm gonna be real with y'all. Not even lying. This one's my favorite. This one's my favorite and I got it at Target. It really is, look. Like, come on. The pigment on that. It's out of this world. But, 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 the highlighter on this one is really good. So I just usually pop highlighter here, 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 little here. And don't go too high when you do it on your lip because you just want it, you don't want to look like you've been sweating. You just want it right there. And then if you noticed when I was doing makeup, I put a little bit of bronzer under there. And when I do my lips here in a second, it's going to really make them look fuller and bigger like i got my lips done and then i know i know i know i know i know that i told you guys that i don't use these blah 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 okay but somebody told me they're like no you need to use them you just need to get longer ones okay and she was right she was right she was right she was right so i do use these now i have been using them for a couple weeks now and they are way better so i can admit when i was wrong these are life-changing definitely recommend using them and they put your eyelashes exactly in place look i just barely popped those on and they're already in place and then you just push down with the ends of it and that's also on letting your glue dry too because remember i told you a lot of people say to just let it dry for like 30 seconds but as you can see like i did my whole face and let it dry for like a good say like a good minute Cause you want to put a pretty thick layer of glue see they just pop on they just pop on girl and then i take my purple again because we don't want to look crusty at the bottom of our eyes and we want it to of course blend together and i just take these two shades this is um zoned out and ghost in that was an ugly face okay and i've had too much wine <laughs> as you can see and then i just kind of apply those right towards the bottom to complete my look and then i'm gonna pop some in the inner corner of i think i'm gonna use wake me and i'll show you that one in just a second but I just pop some at the bottom. I mix those two together so that I have a really nice finish there. Just 
so pretty and you don't want it to be too too dramatic but you do want it to like really show that you did your bottom and I I use this brush to do my bottom or I use this one with this kind of point and then for the inner corner I'm going to use the shade wake me on my lilac palette and wake me is this one right here where my pinky is and I just go in and whoop So pretty. And if you think you can't pull off purple, my girl, you can. Look, and I know, I know y'all been noticing this bra strap. Come on. Like, it's just, come on. Why are you doing that? I hate that bra. But anyway, I think it looks super pretty. I'm just going to finish with a nice nude lip because I don't want, I was going to do pink, but I don't want to be too busy. Now, I always talk about them. And if you have not been listening to me then how dare you but live glam so if you watch less do makeup which i know a lot of you hood reds do i'm just kidding but i know y'all do if you watch less do makeup she works closely with live glam and life glam has the best lipsticks now let me tell you why they're the best am i just really overlying the bottom right there so they're the best for multiple reasons but one of the reasons that i think they're the best is because they send you three lipsticks a month and you can switch them out and so let's say okay so you go on the website right and you sign up it's twenty dollars a month and that's like nothing for three lipsticks like that's really good and they have matte they have gloss they change it up every month they have really pretty colors they try to match for the season see how pretty this is my favorite 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 all-time favorite shade it's called very beautiful and this came out in fall of 2019, I believe. And it's so pretty, so cute. I'm not even gonna put a gloss over it. Actually, I will. I'm gonna put a um, ColourPop gloss, my Champagne Mommy. This is my favorite gloss too. If you buy a gloss from, from ColourPop, make it Champagne Mommy. You need Champagne Mommy in your life. Go get it. It's like six or eight dollars between that price range. You freaking need it now, yesterday. Go get it. But anyway, back to Live Glam. So you get three lipsticks a month. Y'all, yeah. those are all my Live Glam lipsticks. Those aren't even, with the exception of the Champagne Mommy that was on the other side of that bag, those are all Live Glam. And I only started subscribing to them, I wanna say in November of 2019 for their lipsticks. So you need their lipsticks in your life. You need to go get them. You can switch it out if you don't like one of the colors. You can switch the whole collection. You earn points. I got two free lipsticks here recently that were freaking bomb. You can pick them. Go subscribe. I'm gonna leave the link to my subscription on the bottom so that you can go ahead and um, go for my subscription and then you can go in and I think you get a free lippy anytime you sign up so you'll get four on your first order so worth it they're bomb so i hope you like the look this is the final look i hope you like the story many more to come so here is what everybody's been waiting for so i'm at 35 35 and i know that doesn't seem like a lot but to me it is because i just started this whole youtube thing like what three weeks ago I only have like 200 followers on Instagram and Facebook. Like I don't usually typically before I start doing this add people I don't know. I actually forgot to put bottom lash on, so I'm gonna put them on. So I only have like 200 followers. So for me to have 35 subscribers, it really means a lot to me. I really, really appreciate every single person who watches, who subscribes, who likes, who shares, every single person whether I'm good friends with you, whether we talk occasionally, whether we haven't talked since high school, middle school, whatever the case may be, I really appreciate you. I, I hope you know that. So to show my appreciation, I'm going to go ahead and once I get to 50, 50 subscribers, I'm going to post a cute little post on Instagram 
on Facebook, you can like, you can share that and comment. You're gonna like, share, comment, and that will enter you in the contest. And you can either win $50 to Ulta or Target. It'll be your choice. But if you help me get to 50 guys, if you share my videos, if you tell people, if you're enjoying my content, if you tell people about me, if you let them know and help me get to 50, the sooner I can do the contest, as soon as I get to 50, I'm ready to give y'all 50 bucks. I'm ready because I really appreciate the support. Like I'm not even kidding. It means so much to me when you make my recipes, when you do my makeup looks, it just makes my heart feel so happy. I feel so blessed to be sharing information with y'all and I want to get back. So go ahead and um, like, share my video. Tell me what you liked about this look. Tell me if you want me to do another story time and tell me what you like about my content. And that way I can keep giving you exactly what you need, tailor it. And I'm ready guys. I'm ready to keep, get this channel going to keep keep up with it and just um, do as much as possible. So thanks for watching. I again appreciate you guys so much. And I have another story time coming up next month more cooking videos, more makeup videos, and I hope you like this look. Tell me if you recreate it.